Hi, I'm Rick Kepler. And I'm Mark Durbin. The year is 1915. Over on the south shore of the lake, Big Bear Village, then known as Pine Knot, was just getting started. Also, the San Bernardino County had just finished the new Rim of the World Highway. The section from Running Springs ran over to Green Valley Lake and then along the north side of the mountains towards Holcomb Valley before entering Big Bear Valley at Grout Bay on the north side of the lake. However, Fawnskin didn't exist yet. If you wanted to continue around the lake over to the village, it took another couple of hours of travel time on poorly maintained dirt roads. With this situation in mind, two enterprising developers, William Klein and Clinton Miller, felt that the north shore of the lake was destined to become the commercial center of Big Bear Valley. So in 1916, they purchased about 700 acres in the Grout Bay area and began subdividing. Flyers were printed, streets were laid out, stores and offices were built, and a new development opened for business. Initially known as a Klein Miller Resort, that name was changed to Fawnskin in June 1917. This view looks west when it first opened. And this is the same scene today. Looking east, we see the main sales office and store. Years later, this building became known as the North Shore Tavern until it was destroyed by fire in the early 1990s. And this is what the same area looks like today. This is one of Fonskin's earliest structures. In later years, it became the Fawn Lodge until it eventually closed its doors in the late 1970s, but still exists today. While looking at these old images, we want to tell you about an important piece of Fawn Skin history that actually never happened. From the very beginning, Klein and Miller had plans to build a major hotel on the lakeshore at Fawn Skin. It was first announced in the LA Times and the San Bernardino Sun in 1917. They reported that construction was scheduled to begin right away and that among the many amenities, the plans called for 50 guest rooms, 24 private baths, and two dining rooms. But the actual construction didn't begin right away. Later, in 1924, there was renewed public interest when the San Bernardino Daily Sun reported that work had now actually begun, and the size of the hotel had been increased to 218 rooms. Unfortunately, 1924 was also the year that a section of the Rim of the World Highway from Green Valley to Fawnskin was abandoned in favor of a new highway from Running Springs directly to the Big Bear Dam, today's Highway 18. It also connected with a new South Shore Road, which effectively bypassed Fawn Skin, rerouting all incoming traffic directly over to the village. The owners of the new hotel must have seen the writing on the wall, because construction plans were halted once again, and the project was abandoned. About all that remains today of Klein Miller's ambitious dream is this old architectural drawing of what the finished hotel would have looked like. And that's our look at Fawnskin. See you next time.